everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing like another quarantine vlog but this one's going to be a little bit different because it is my birthday today so it's going to be a birthday lockdown vlog and i just wanted to vlog this because i thought this is kind of like a, a weird memory like i'm having a birthday in lockdown like i genuinely thought that this would all like i'm so naive but i like thought this was all going to be blown over by my birthday, I was gonna be out having my brunch. I thought it was all going back to normal, but clearly not, we're in lockdown. Um, but we're gonna try and make today as fun as possible, as good as possible. I feel like it never feels like your birthday, but like today really doesn't feel like my birthday. I don't know why, it just, I guess, because we're in lockdown. So I've got changed, obviously with the new lockdown rules, you're allowed to go like a little bit further for um, exercise and stuff and take your dog out. So we're taking my dog to the beach and she's never been to the beach before so i'm actually so excited like i'm taking I, I i don't know if anyone else is the same but when i take my dog out like i literally love it it's like taking my baby out it's like it's a really good day you know i don't want to wear i've literally changed my outfit like a bajillion times but i just can't stop to wear i've got this top on at the moment which i got from zara it's just my zara who i just posted these are old shorts from uh, River Island and I've got my Birkenstocks on but I keep changing between this and then the v-neck like plain black crop I got from Zara as well I just can't decide pre-lockdown plans not that this is actually gonna make me feel any better it's just gonna make me feel more depressed but my birthday what I actually had planned was so me and my boyfriend were gonna be going to Harry Potter tour so it's Monday today so Saturday we were supposed to be going Harry Potter tour which I was so excited about because I'm literally like the biggest Harry Potter fanatic ever and I used to go to the uh, studio tour like every single year but then I was like right I need to stop going every year because it wasn't feeling as like special so I didn't go for two years so I was going again to see Gringotts and everything and I was genuinely so excited but obviously yeah I'm not doing that anymore uh, and then today me and my mum were supposed to just be going like shopping together spending my birthday money having some lunch and then me and my boyfriend have been together for six years today so we were going to go have like a special meal for my birthday in six years but What's the point in talking about it? Because it's not going to happen. I'm going to the beach. I'll probably get a takeaway and watch a movie. But it's going to be good anyways. My mum gave me money for my birthday. But she also got me this perfume. If anyone's not seen it before. It's Jennifer Lopez Promise. It's actually so nice. I'm going to wear that today. She also got me a little wireless... Oh, she also got me a little wireless charger thing for my phone, which she uses. It's really handy. Uh, my sister, my older sister came around yesterday, which was really nice. We in the garden, like social distance and stuff. And she brought me around some flowers, which I love. I love having flowers. Also got me like some nose strips and some face masks. And then this is like my favorite perfume, the Cloud by Ariana. So yeah, I feel like I'm not even gonna bother spending my birthday money. Like I could order things, but I just feel like it's pointless because I'm not doing anything. And I've done quite a few hauls, and I just feel like it would be pointless. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna really spend any birthday money. But yeah, I think we're gonna go stop off at the co-op now, pick up my hair, it honestly looks terrible today. Um gonna stop off at the co-op um and just pick up like a few picnic -y bits for the beach and then head to the beach with Bonnie. So I'm excited. I'm going to open my present from Maria. Why can I pop this camera up? I'll just pop it up here. I actually know what this is, but... No, you don't. You yeah, do. No, you don't. Right. What can this be? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to literally ask for them, so... Yeah, I asked for these. I can't believe you wrapped it up. It's... Oh. Can I that pop? Yay. Oh, my God. They look so fresh. They look so fresh. I just looked at them and I was like, oh. Oh my god, I love them. They look cool with this outfit, but I don't... I can't believe you wrapped it up. I wanted to make some more special. I know, I just didn't think you'd have anything. I asked mum. <laughs> oh, I wish I could wear them to the beach. I feel like it's not appropriate to wear to the beach, though. Mm. Also, I changed my top again. <laughs> they look so fresh. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to wear these probably never, because I'm not going to even ask. Experience heartbreaking until they crease. I know, because yours are creased. I know, you can't not... You can't... Do A little bit of my perfume, my new perfume. Feels like Christmas. I feel like on Christmas you always get new perfume and you always smell delicious. Oh my god, it's so nice. It reminds me of my mum though, because I bought it for my mum, so I smell my mum. But yeah, I'm not changing my top to this other one from Zara just because it felt a little bit more comfortable with them, them sleeves and that. I feel like. I don't know. Oh, she's a little bit panicky. We're panicking a little bit. She's not that way. She's excited. I'm excited. Yes. Are you excited? I'm not sure. Oh, she had a shave. Thank you. 
So we're at the beach and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really quite cold. Just have a little crop top on and shorts and I'm frozen. But um, I think I filmed a little bit of it, Bonnie in the sea and stuff, like honestly she's driving me mad already. She's just overexcited, like jumping in the sea, like barking at us, yelping at us, digging in the sand. I'm literally covered head to toe in sand and there's nothing worse than me covered head to toe in sand. But look how pretty it is. Thanks. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh my god, you're so predictable. <sighs> Where are my glasses? What's down there? Are we on the hunt for some toilets? Obviously, all the toilets are bloody shut because of the thingy. But Maria, as always, is the desperate toilet. What is down there? I don't know. Oh, do you know what? I think you could pee, you could pee down the bottom there. Yeah, but what if somebody comes out? Well, I'll keep looking at it unless you walk all the way up them steps. Yeah, we could do. Oh, bloody no. <laughs> We're going to walk all the way up these steps. Gorgeous. Oh god. On See there? when the wind drops it's actually alright, you know. No, it's lovely out today. I do I want to say lovely one time? Lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. lovely. No. This is Maria's <laughs> pin um position, I just have to let you know. No, no, that's not going on. This is her pee um place, okay. Bye. Just waiting patiently. Oh, she's Oh, come on. Let me have a look. We're walking along the pebbles. It's lovely. Yes, it's... <laughs> Do you want to have a lovely cow though? <laughs> well, you're tired. Yes. You both said lovely today. Fuck you now. That's fashion. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's We're going home now, it's about two-ish. Um, because honestly the dog is really annoying. She's just overexcited. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go home now because she keeps barking at us when we're sitting down. But I think I might go chill in the garden at home for such a lovely day. It's obviously it's a bit more colder here, so it'll be warmer at home. It'll probably be really hot at home too, but yeah. We're gonna go home. Right, just these are cockles by the way. Just smell it, just try one. <laughs> oh, well, no. Just try one. Okay, so I've just come home and Harrison um, sent me through some flowers, which is really cute. I don't even know what they look like. I've got like a little card through. Oh, it's happy sickest years. I need to get them out and put them in a vase vase, vase vase, which I'm going to do now. And he also sent me through this card this morning, which is really cute. It's got all different pictures from over the years. Really cute, I think. He's coming over later, like, I think we're just gonna go for a walk over the field opposite, um, and then like open my presents from him at like a distance, just sit down and have that distance, you know? Um, so I think I'm gonna do that later. And I think I'm also gonna see my friend, quick Emily. She only lives like literally the road next to me. So I think we're gonna go for, again, another walk over the field and open. I think she's got me presents, I don't even know what she said. Um, I go sit in the garden. It's a lot hotter here, because obviously we're not near the coast as much. Um, than it was there but oh yeah that's a sculpture that is a sculpture might spray a bit more perfume now because I'm a little bit sweaty lovely I'm currently debating what takeaway to get and this is a very hard decision like it's actually stressing me out what do you think? What do you fancy? I think the whole day depends on this so I think you need to think it through. I can't decide I would vote right now Chinese. Chinese? Oh, chicken balls, crispy chicken, chicken balls. I need to... Chow mein. Visualise, you know, like you just need to close your eyes and visualise each food. I actually can't decide. I'm kind of feeling pizza, but I feel like I could get pizza You get pizza whenever. all the time, it's not like that special. I do yeah, kind of fancy Chinese. it though. Oh. Maybe Indian? Yeah. I'm really bloody excited, but I can't decide this stressing You're not me out. To decide, are you? No, because I fancy pizza, but I'm like I shouldn't fancy pizza because I can literally order pizza whenever I want. Whereas like you can't really order Indian by yourself, can't? Well, you could obviously, but 
you end up spending too much money or a Chinese you end up spending too much money I knew this would be such a difficult decision I need to focus Chinese Indian pizza Chinese Indian pizza should we, like a ra should we do a randomizer? Chinese pizza or Indian and oh, we're gonna right. do do if, you, if you um randomizer for choices? Yeah, choice randomizer maybe. The random choice. I feel like it's good because if it comes comes up with a choice and you think mm, that means you didn't really want it in the first place. Okay? That's a little tip, yeah. Okay, right. right. Chinese Chinese Indian Indian pizza. pizza. <laughs> I don't know if, I'm not even hungry. Random choice. Obviously I'm not gonna have it. It's pizza. Pizza. It's pizza. No. 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 Random choice again. Chinese. Chinese. It was between Indian and Chinese. What do I want from Chinese? Chicken balls. Uh, Chinese. Rice. Prawn toast. Prawn toast. Oh. I don't feel an Indian now. Oh, Indian Indian oh my god. You are gonna drive me insane. If anyone else is like this who can't make a decision to save their life, I really do feel your pain. It's very difficult being so indecisive. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually stressing me out. It's all I can think about. I'm thinking Indian. Or do I just go for Chinese? I think I'm going to go for Chinese. This could be subject to change. So don't be surprised the next time I film I'm <laughs> munching on a pizza because yeah, it probably inside. will happen. I feel like somebody needs to decide for you. Oh, Presents! Right. Okay, so we decided, well, I decided on Chinese. That's it, final decision. It's ordered now. Can't go back. Um, Chinese is so expensive though. Like, oh my God, it was literally a fortune. But I ordered chicken, well, my mum ordered. Um, chicken ball, a sweet and sour chicken balls, uh, mushroom chow mein. I don't remember what else now. Prawn toast. Oh, and then me and Maria ordered like, I don't know what it was called. We were just at this point just adding whatever. I think it was like chicken and Thai sweet chilli or something. But anyways, I thought I'd show you what Harrison got me for my birthday. Oh, where can I like prop you? Pick up here. Okay, so he got me obviously my flowers, which I've put over there. Honestly, they are the prettiest flowers ever. I think the brown was like wild and bloom or something. But I said to him like they are the best flowers he's ever sent me. Like they are honestly stunning. Anyways, um, he got me this book, a good old rom com book. I wanted this one. Um, it's called Love You, Love You Not by Joe Watson. Can't go wrong with a good rom-com. And then I asked him for this top. Um, it was from JD. It's like an Adidas tie-dye top. And then the Adidas logo is like neon green. But I just thought this with cycling shorts and some chunky trainers would look really cool. And it was only £25, which I know it's quite a lot for a t-shirt, but I feel like for Adidas, I would have expected it to be more just because I feel like they take the piss with their prices. Um, if it's still in stock, I will link it down below if anyone likes this. And then he bought me these Nike shoes. I'm so Niked out the minute. Like, I've got my Air Forces today, which honestly, look how fresh they are. <gasps> I'm never going to wear them. Um, so he got me these trainers, which are so sick. These are the trainers. These, with like the crop top I was wearing today in white. Um, like the denim mum shorts, white Nike socks. And then these would look so sick. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Um, I'm not... I think he got them from... I don't actually know how to be selfish. I'll try to link them down below if I do find them. If anyone likes them. But I just think they are so sick. And the colours are wicked. It's like a white, pink, and then... They kind of remind me of like them Jordans colour that... Jordans? Is that how you... Yeah, Jordans, like, the colourway that everyone's wearing at the minute. But yeah, these are white Nike socks and some shorts. I think are going to look so sick. So, yeah. That is what he got me for my birthday. My room is an absolute tip. I need to tidy it. 
check this Chinese. I feel oh like Chinese is such a like personal thing though, because I can look at other people's Chinese and be like, Yeah, because oh. there's so much stuff to order though. But so I much like to order. I'm just off to meet Emily um, to get my present, which is exciting. I feel like a fat bitch, I'm not gonna lie. I've eaten so much at like, the point where I thought I was gonna throw up, but I had to keep the had to do the plate clean. Do the plate clean, I had to eat the plate clean. So I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, so this little walk should do me good. It's a little bit chilly now. So Emily baked me, did your mum bake this as well? How did you know? <laughs> so Emily and Dawn, look, they baked me this little cake. It's like Millie's cookies, I love it. So we're just gonna open the presents. Oh, there's loads in there. Move along. Not your kind of book. <laughs> why, why did you get it then? I'm confused. Was it someone else? Did someone give you this and you're giving it to me? Are you re-gifting something? <laughs> you're re-gifting someone's gift to me. <laughs> you bitch. So we've just been talking about holidays because going to Folkestone today has honestly made me like depressed. So me and Maria were supposed to be going to Calador in Spain in like three weeks. We'd be counting right. down right now. Yeah, we'd been counting down, we'd have got all our holiday clothes, but obviously we're not going. So we've been talking about holidays. Okay, that's all we spoke about on the beach as well. Yeah. It's like what holidays are meant to go. Hopefully we go next year, like, that's the thing that's worrying me, is like, what if we can't go on holidays next year, like, what, how long, anyway, so it's just, you know, let's not stress about that. Well, you don't know Where yet, do, do we you? want to go next year? Well, I know, my, if I could go anywhere, I'd love to go to LA with, with Megan. That'd right? be sick. It would be so expensive, and... I could not afford that. <laughs> we, yeah, but we'd have to save up, but if we knew we were going, and we saved up. To be fair, if we started saving from now, we could do it. Probably. Yeah, if we know we're going, that's what I'm saying. You need to know yeah, that you're you going. Need to know. I'll get a Monzo pot. To be fair, even if we start saving from now, I don't know if we'd have enough. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have to use my savings. I think mm. it, it it's not a holiday that I want to do on a budget. Like we'd imagine, have to go all out, but yeah. it would be amazing. But imagine like filming it, like the vlogs would be sick. Because I've wanted to do like holiday thing. vlogs and stuff this year. I'm not gonna do them. Much you're really annoyed. Mm. LA would be sick. LA, and there's so much stuff that I'd like to do. It's not just like a sit what around you, the pool. The only thing I can think of, which is so bad, is that pink wall that people take pictures in front of in LA. And it's like, is it like a Paul Smith shop? It's like a hot pink wall. Is that LA? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, LA would be cool good. next year. Or I said as well, I'd like to go to Dubai. Because I'm thinking like, I'd like to do like two big holidays next year. Because obviously I'm missing out on holidays this year. Saving so much more money because I'm not doing anything. So two big holidays next year would be good. So Dubai. Mm. I think I'd probably um, struggle with the heat because it's like hot. Yeah, I think it? you would. Like, I went um, about four years ago, I think. Three years ago. Three years ago. Um, and we, I was there in August, I think. And oh my god, it literally was like 46 degrees. I couldn't deal with that. I yeah, was it was like dying. beyond hot. And like people say, yeah, but you get used to it. No, you don't. You don't adjust the forty-six degree here. <laughs> you're, we're not used you're to it, aren't we? We don't. Yeah. We have. We don't go on holidays. We. Blah, 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 blah. We we didn't grow up going on holiday every year where you go and like get used to this intensity. No, like, yeah. What I said today, like, even if we just go Calador, that is more than we would have done this year. Oh my god, year. yeah. So I'm even just so Calador, I'd be so happy. But it's just, just Calador. Calador is really, really high class. Yeah. <laughs> 
But if you, but if we're not going on any, and we're saving all this money right now, it's not even just not from not going on holiday this year. We might as well do anything. We're we never going to well have the opportunity again to save money like that. Like, again. I'm never going to have this much, not this much if I've got loads. I'm not going to have no, but you're the not going to be. I can get. You're not going to be spending as little as you are now ever in your ever life again. probably because you still Literally ever again go out. You buy a lunch for work. You go to the cinema. You don't. We can't do that now. Literally so. spending nothing. Might as well make the most of it. And so go I feel to like LA. with that money, we need to just really go hard i feel like you were more like convinced i lay now but earlier you were like no now the only thing is because i still really because i was supposed to be going vegas later later <laughs> i was supposed to be going vegas later this year i feel like if i go vegas next year if i do like la and vegas i would like to see like another if i'm going to spend a lot of money on a holiday i want to see like another country not just do america twice do you know what i mean yeah i get that but it is different, but las though. vegas and la is yeah it's so different it's completely different where else could we go that's a lot of money <laughs> i don't uh, I don't have a lot of money, I don't know why I'm saying that. Let's go to Bora Bora. Can you imagine Bora Bora, 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 Bora and say it in the hot things? That would where be amazing. Is expensive? People go to Barbados, don't they? Is that where you stroke the micro pigs? I don't know. So basically, next year. Hopefully, That's where it's all going to happen, hopefully. You're still making video. Mm? Um, there's going to be some big holidays with some cool. I literally love vlogging because you don't even watch YouTube, do you? Not really, no. But vlogs are like my favourite content. Like I love watching just really chilled mm -hmm. vlogs. Like girls my age are just like watching, even if they're doing nothing all day. Like literally lockdown vlogs are my favourite. And like it's funny because I feel like this is really boring. And then they always say that in their videos too. Like someone would be like, oh I feel like this is really boring. But I actually really like it. Like I just like daily vlogs. And if people are watching, like if somebody found that boring they just wouldn't watch anyway. Yeah, so. true. But I hope this wasn't too boring. I mean, you've done more today than you've done other days. I've sure. done the most today. Like, we, when we was um, on the beach, I kept forgetting that like, the world was, like, how it is. Like, it, it, for, like, a good, like, 20 minutes, it I just genuinely forgot. felt like a normal day out until Cause it was quite busy said, as can well. you stay away from those people? And yeah, we she was like, like, can you, like... To ask, not to them. Obviously. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, get Cause away!" Because they were queuing up, and we went and queued behind them. And I literally, right I literally behind them. Literally, didn't think anything of it. Just and then, completely forget. Because you see other families out, and they they were just out as well and getting ice creams, and you just felt normal. Yeah, the ice cream things open. So I, I kept saying that when lockdown ends, it was not going to feel normal for ages, and you're going to be really aware of. No, like I think people, you'll just slip back I, into you it. Do, I think you'll slip back into it. Yeah. Apart from like, if it's actually different, like if like restaurant social distance or yeah, that's true. Whatever. It was nice though to like forget about it. This is like the yeah. most eventful day I've had and it has sort of felt a little bit normal. Obviously, meeting my friends and my boyfriend on a field is not normal. No, you wouldn't really be doing that. No. We, were, we wouldn't really have gone to the beach, but... Yeah. But yeah. Did, did I even say how, how good that Chinese was? I don't know if I did. Chinese but... was 10 out of 10. Oh, but Maria, what happened to your Chinese? So, it's Ian. And, I'm, and I, was, I was mixing it all together. I took a massive bite and then I, and then I bit down on something hard. But that sometimes <laughs> happens because sometimes yeah, it's like you crunchy just, bits. Yeah, or and, and I'm really picky, so I just spat it straight out. So my Chinese out, it was a staple. <laughs> so I literally was like, what's that silver thing? And I'd bit down on a staple. There was, I don't know where it'd come from. Um, if it had so come from the bad. bag or but there was a staple in the. In but the, the, the worst Chinese. thing was that she literally, she got a special. Oh my God, <laughs> a staple. And put it down. And then I just carried on eating, like because the Chinese were so good. I guess that like, some people would be like affected by that, like they'd be turned off because the staple was like it's, us. it's like contaminated us. You weren't eating it, don't. No, because we were so we were so like, oh my god, staple. oh my god, and then literally you just a forgot staple. about it, and then we I just kept just eating. Sit, we were just sitting there eating, like oh that's so bad. Yeah. I didn't even like phase at it all. It tasted really good, so it was so all. good. Like crisp, it was like crispy chicken. Just a side of stationery. It was really quite tasty. Oh, it was good. <laughs> and then we had like crispy chicken, and they had like sweet chili sauce it was over it. Chicken balls. Chicken bun. It was Mouth. So good. It was quite apart from the staple, but honestly, apart, apart from the staple, but you know, mistakes happen, yeah. and the fact that you're Chinese. I did is swallow it. Good. I spat it out. You know, okay, she could have chucked, she could have died, she could have cut up her throat. But the point is, she did it, and the Chinese it was, was worth a 10 it. out of 10. <laughs> Girl, you can tell that we like food too much. Thumbs up from us for the Chinese, it was delicious. Probably gonna keep some of the leftovers for breakfast tomorrow. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now. I might um, edit a little bit of this vlog. I'm not sure what the hell I filmed. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little like birthday vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I also just hit 19. 
k on youtube which is crazy i can't believe i've hit night i feel like recently it's just gone up really quickly i think <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much if you've subscribed recently if you enjoyed this video i think i'm just gonna go and edit it a little bit and then probably fall asleep because i'm honestly exhausted i feel like i don't know if you guys' birthday is the same but it's like always so hectic and then like you sit down in bed you're like oh my god like, i literally haven't even had a second to breathe um but yeah other than that it's been fun uh, so i hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video Bye.